Section 7.8, Conjugates and Division of Complex Numbers. If you recall, a conjugate is a two-term expression that has the same first and second terms with opposite signs. We're going to use conjugates of complex numbers that are defined in a similar manner to help us deal with division. So the conjugate of a complex number, a plus bi, is a minus bi. And the conjugate of a minus bi is, no surprise, a plus bi. Anytime we multiply conjugate complex numbers together, we will eliminate the radical, similar to rationalizing the denominator that we've done previously in this course. So let's look at the first example here. They're asking us to simplify the following. We really can't do division in the complex number system, or radicals for that matter, which recall i is the square root of a negative one, so we have just a different version of a radical. But what we can do is to eliminate that radical, or in this case, the square root of negative one, which i is representing from the denominator. And to do that, we'll multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate of 2 minus i is 2 plus i. And what we multiply the denominator by, we will multiply the numerator by, because this expression is equivalent to 1. In the numerator, to simplify, we have a binomial times a binomial. We'll multiply first terms together to give us 6. Outside terms, a 3i. Inside terms multiplied together give us a 4i, and last terms multiplied together will give us a 2i times i, or i squared. In the denominator, foiling this as well, first terms multiplied together is 4. Outside terms multiplied together will give us a positive 2i. Inside multiplied together will give us a negative 2i. Those terms are opposite and cancel out by design because of our conjugates, but we also have to multiply our last terms together. A negative times a positive is a negative, and i times i is i squared. Simplifying this further and recalling that i squared is a negative 1, we have 2 times negative 1, which would be a negative 2, plus the 6 will give us a 4. 3i plus 4i is 7i i squared in the denominator is a negative 1, so we have minus a negative 1, minus a minus is a plus, so we end up with a 5 in the denominator when we get done simplifying with the numerator, and typically we express our final answer in the form of a plus bi, keeping in mind that both of the terms in the numerator have a denominator of 5, so we can break this up into the real portion, 4 over 5, plus 7 fifths i for the imaginary portion. In this next example, they're asking us to simplify, and the problem here is we have this i, which is a radical in the denominator. We want to eliminate the radical. To do that, we'll multiply by the conjugate of the denominator which is the same first term and second term, but the opposite sign. What we do in the denominator, we will do to the numerator, which this is equivalent to a 1. In the numerator, to simplify, we have a distributive property. Each term will be multiplied by negative 4i, and our first term will result in a negative 4 times 3, or a negative 12 with the i. A negative times a negative is a positive, 4 times 5 is 20, i times i is i squared, over, multiplying these two binomials together, first terms multiplied would give us 9, the outside would give us a negative 15i, multiplying inside terms would give us a positive 15i, those are additive inverses and cancel out, last terms multiplied together, positive times a negative is a negative, 5 times 5 is 25, 
i times i is i squared, which I'm going to replace with a negative 1. Simplifying this further then, we have our i squared, which is the negative 1, which is going to make this a negative 20, and I'm going to put that in front. We generally put our real number first, and then our imaginary term second. In the denominator, our i squared is a negative 1. Negative 1 times 25 is a negative 25, but we're subtracting, so we end up with a positive 25 plus the 9 is going to give us a 34. Now, we have a couple choices. We do want to express this as a plus bi, but while we're at it, perhaps before we do that, reduce this by factoring. Each of these numbers is an even number, which means we can factor out a 2 out of the numerator, which will leave us a negative 10 minus 6i, which this factor of 2 in the numerator will cancel out a 2 in the denominator, leaving a 7. Now we're ready to split these apart, and not that you couldn't have done it before and reduced each fraction individually. It's kind of 6 of one and half a dozen of the other, but our real portion of our complex number will be negative 10 over the common denominator of 17, minus our imaginary portion, which is 6i over 17. In this next example, we have a division simply because of having this fraction bar. We can't simplify, but we need to get that radical that's disguised as i, since i stands for square root of negative 1, out of the denominator. To do that, we will multiply by 4i. And we could multiply by i itself so that we don't end up with as large a number, but just recognizing that this essentially is a conjugate of itself, I can also put a negative there as well. As long as I'm maintaining equality, so we have a couple choices, i alone multiplied would get rid of our denominator. 4i will get rid of our denominator of the imaginary portion of it, which is a radical, and we could also put a negative. So all those choices are legitimate choices for simplifying that denominator. I'm going to stick with what I have here and see how this turns out. We are maintaining equality by multiplying both numerator and denominator by the same value. The numerator to simplify, we need to distribute 7 times 4i will give us a 28i, 10i times 4i will give us a 40i squared. In the denominator, we have 4 times 4 is 16, i times i using commutative property will give us an i squared. i squared in the numerator is a negative 1 times the 40 will give us a negative 40. Rearranging that so we have our pure, or I should say our real number first, I'll list the negative 40 first, followed by the 28i over what happened in the denominator, i squared is a negative 1 times 16 is a negative 16. Again, we have some choices. We can factor first and reduce our fraction or split it into the parts and reduce each fraction. I think it's probably perhaps faster to factor first. There is a common 4 in numerator and denominator, so factoring out a 4 will leave a negative 10 plus 7i over the negative 16. 4 divided by 4 is 1, 16 divided by 4 is 4, and now expressing our answer in the form of a plus bi, we will put each of the terms over the common denominator. 7 
over 4, a negative 4, can't forget the negative there, i. And simplifying here, a negative over a negative is positive, so we end up with 10 fourths. This actually can be reduced even further. Dividing top by 2, which would leave a 5. The denominator by 2 would leave a 2. The negative over negative cancel out, leaving a 5 halves. And we could migrate the negative in the denominator for a subtraction of 7 fourths i for our final answer. In this last term, we have i in the denominator. This is a radical. We don't want to leave a radical in the denominator. So to undo that, we'll simply multiply by i. What we do in the denominator, we will do in the numerator. Because of the fact i over i is equivalent to 1, multiplying by 1 doesn't change the value. It maintains an equivalent expression. Simplifying, we have a 5i in the numerator, multiplying. Denominator i times i is i squared. But by definition, i squared is negative 1. Anything divided by 1 is that thing. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. And our final answer is negative 5i.